This is a Rutke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome to Episode 7 of my 32-bit CPU Mac series. In this episode, I will be showing you how to flash your 1,1 Mac Mini or 4,1 iMac to a 2,1 or 5,1 firmware. In this video, I will be focusing on the Mac Mini, but for iMac users, I will give you a link right here to this page where they have provided a firmware tool that will help you and it should work just like the Mac Pro EFI update that I covered previously in this video right here so if you need guidance and help this video should help you in theory I've not done this and I'm not really sure but in theory, I believe it's the same way and it works basically the same way. But for us Mac Mini users, our way has always been harder because Apple never released the 2,1 firmware as an update or anything. The 2,1 has always had the same firmware. So, until recently, in fact March 4th, 2015, it had been very hard. You had to have a copy of the file from a Netcus uh, page which is this link right here which doesn't matter anymore because Sibinos, I I'm not sure if I'm saying his name correctly but he came up with another way to do this back in 2015 for a system that by then was going on nine years old so he he's been dedicated so we are going to be following his guide here to update our Mac Mini. First off you will want to click on this link right here and download these files. Once those are downloaded they should show up in your downloads folder and if it hasn't unzipped you want to unzip it. Next we will be opening up a terminal window and what we need to do is type in CD Base, then go down to downloads click and drag this folder into here and hit enter now we will need to type in this line right here which I am just going to copy and paste we hit paste and hit enter. This is where it will create a RAM disk and download all the files that are needed. Then this program will allow you to have an option between upgrading to 2,1 which we are going to do or downgrading to 1,1. We are going to upgrade so we hit 1 and hit enter. Then we need to type in our password. If you do not have a password this will not work and you need to make a password for your account. We hit enter. It makes the RAM disk. We then close out terminal and shut the system down. And here's one last proof that this is still 1 comma 1. We hit shut down and turn the system off. Now that the system is off we will want to press the power button until the front light starts blinking. We then let go and it starts flashing. Now the system will restart and we will get a messed up screen. The reason why we are getting this screen is because the NVRAM or a lot of people refer to it as the PRAM even though that's not what it is anymore. It's known as the NVRAM now. But we'll just say PRAM. The PRAM is set up for the 1,1 it was never intended for the 2,1. To 
To fix this problem, we will need to shut the system off by holding in the power button. Where it just went into sleep mode. There we go. We hold in the power button until it shuts off. And then we need to do a pram reset. To do that, we hold in command and option and P and R at the same time as when we hit the power button. And we hold these in until the system resets itself. So that's why I'm going to do. I'll hold down these buttons here and here. So I'll need to put down my phone for a second. Holding in the buttons and pressing power. System reset itself. And we should all be good now. And the screen is back to normal. And here is our Snow Leopard desktop. Now we can verify that it is officially a 2 comma 1 flash. And here we have it, 2 comma 1. Now we can upgrade our RAM to 3 gigabytes or 4 if you want, but of course, like previously stated in the former videos, 3 is the max it can use. The only benefit you may get with 4 is it may treat it like dual channel, but honestly, there's really no big difference, if any at all. So go with 3 gigs, which I will be doing in the next video episode 8. Anyway, thank you for watching, and this has been a Retke Mods video. And just to save time, I am directly going to copy this code down here, and Terminal's not doing anything. Why isn't it turn? What What's going on here? Okay, Terminal's not working. Okay, with all this said and done, let's hit enter. And we are done, which it shouldn't have done that. Huh. And when it kicks off, we want to hold it in our power button until the front light flashes. And once again, it's not doing anything. What the? And we'll want to hold down the power button until the front light flashes. What's the... And we'll want to hold down the power button until the front light flashes. Uh oh. So we need to turn off our system by holding in the power until it shuts off. Hmm, it looks like it's gone into sleep mode. Okay, so the system has rebooted itself and booted into the OS, and there's just a black screen. It resets itself, we let go, and it should boot up. Oh, the cable is <laughs> disconnected. Well, that's funny.